Hey you guys, it's Megan. It has taken me like 50 tries to do my hair in a way that I wasn't repulsed by. <sighs> so this is what it will be like today, I guess. I wanted it out of my face. First I had it down. <sighs> I don't know. So whatever, this is what it will look like today. So whatever, don't make fun of me if it looks horrible. So today I'm gonna do my weekly repeats and reviews since it is Friday and it is a beautiful Friday here in Pennsylvania. It is the perfect weather. It's like just about 80 degrees. There's a nice breeze. Oh my Lord, it is amazing. So um, I'm really, really happy about that. I think that it has just been a really nice summer, like for the weather especially, which is really wonderful because it is the middle of August, so it's usually like 90 degrees every day, and this is just such a treat. So I have loved the weather today. And today was actually when I had the facial that I won um, last week. I found out that I won this facial from the med spa that I get my scar treatments done at. I won it randomly um, and I had it today and it was fabulous. It was absolutely amazing and it was called the Hydra Facial and I'm sure that they have that um, uh, style of facial treatments at many different med spas because um, the woman who did the facial for me um, said that that was just the name of the machine. So I'm sure that that machine is all throughout the country and probably the world to have these wonderful, amazing facials. Basically what it was, I've never had a facial before, so I I was just expecting like a massage on my face. I don't know. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. So what it was was that it was like a tip. It wasn't like a laser, but um, it felt like it. And um, so it was like a tip, probably about this big. And she just like swiped it across my face with, first it was like a manu manual exfoliant. So it was kind of like gritty. And then she did um, like acids and like did that all over my face, but especially focusing in the areas where I have clogged pores and can have breakouts. So that for me is like around my chin and my nose and like this part of my cheeks and up on my forehead for the clogged pores. It was amazing. My face feels so, so smooth. Okay, so after the acids, um, then she did like um, she said vitamins and like hydrating the thing. So the same technique all over my face and down my neck. Oh, it was wonderful. And after each part, she would like massage it in and she just like had the nicest like massaging techniques. And then at the end she did, um, well then she did like, uh, manual extractions on my nose and my nose is like so clear. Like I don't have any clogged pores. It's insane. And then she put some sort of antibacterial stuff on it so it wouldn't um, break out. And then she used um, LED lights, red LED lights on my face and went all around my face three times. And I guess I'm not really sure what exactly it does, but she said that it would help like so it wouldn't um, look red, um, the skin wouldn't look red. And I am amazed. I want to um, get a facial for my mom for Christmas, hopefully, because it was absolutely wonderful and she said that they recommend doing it every two months just to keep a really like clean polished face um I don't think that I would be able to afford that at this point in my life but it was absolutely amazing so if you want a facial treatment that you can probably get at most med spas definitely check out the Hydra facial I'm not sure the price because I did win it um I would assume that it's around $100 and it was just under an hour. It was so wonderful, so peaceful. I feel like amazing. But she did say not to use any acids on my face for the next four days because it would really sting because this is a super deep exfoliating treatment. So I have to remember that so my face doesn't get like burned off. There goes the UPS guy not bringing me anything because I have not bought anything since I started my no buy which is really exciting. But anyhow, I wanted to mention that just in case you wanted to know how the facial was. It was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So for my weekly repeats and reviews, I don't have too much stuff to talk about, just a few beauty products, but then I have a lot of like random stuff. So I'll just start with the makeup. For um, my cheek like combo, I've been using my Benefit High Beam, 
which I don't have very much of. I don't know if you guys can see, but I can't get my brush around the edges of where the rest of the product is, so it's very hard for me to get this out. I'll probably only continue to use this for probably another week or so just because it's very difficult to get any product out but I was first using this as just a normal highlight um but I've been using it as like a blush base it is gorgeous so I just put this all over like my cheek area so like in this general area and then I've been using my elf candid coral because I'm trying to use this up for my finish five by fall and this week I was feeling like I didn't want such a extreme like placement of the blush. I just wanted like a flush of the color. So instead of using my normal e.l.f. blush brush, which is very like specific and can sometimes be a little bit too much if I just want to flush, I've been using the Real Techniques Multitask Brush, which fits in here perfectly. I just swirl it around and then just go on my cheek, the general cheek area where I put the Benefit High Beam. It's what I'm wearing today. I think it gives a really nice like glow. It feels or it looks like you're glowing from within and um, this is a really nice brush for if you just want a light flush of color. So I have really enjoyed that combination because I didn't want any really extreme highlight this week. I've been doing really extreme highlights for the past like month and I just wanted to tone it down a little bit and I've really been enjoying this. For lips, this is something that I'm going to be focusing on in my next Project 10 pan which will be from September to the end of um, October. I'm going to do two more Project Pans this year both lasting two months so be on the lookout for my project pan update on sunday but um i have been reaching for the trina tarantino um conditioning lip sheen and cameo this is something i bought like two years ago and just have not really used it much it is such a beautiful my lips but better color the formula is really nice it's what i'm wearing today it doesn't really look like i'm wearing anything it just looks like my normal lip color but a little bit more polished just it's beautiful i love this and i love the packaging it's really nice and weighty um love the little sparkles on it too so this is something that i'm going to try to use up because it is one of my oldest lipsticks in my collection and it's a beautiful color that I know that I'll be able to use every day and I just absolutely love this so I know um Sephora doesn't carry Tarina Tarantino anymore maybe just on her website they have the makeup I'm not really sure but that's a really nice lipstick formula if you're looking for a lipstick by her for mascara this week I've been back to my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill I love this mascara. Natasha, you set me up to absolutely fall in love with this and now I'm gonna have to like repurchase this when it's gone because it's so, so amazing. It's a really nice packaging. I've talked about this several times before in weekly repeats and reviews and favorites. Um, There is a fragrance to it, like a floral scent. That doesn't bother my eyes, but if you have very sensitive eyes, that might irritate your eyes, I'm not sure. So um, just be aware of that. But I just have like one and a half coats of this on and it just gives my lashes the perfect look. It defines them, it volumizes them, it just makes them look so beautiful. It's like a harder bristle brush but separated and they look like the, um, the tooth brush bristles um I don't know I just love this it gives me the lashes that I love it's so easy it is fabulous sometimes it does flake a little bit um but it doesn't do it every single time I wear this mascara so I don't know it's worth it to me though it is amazing for perfume this week, um, I've been using up some of my perfume samples, but this is my favorite. This is the Prada Candy, and Sam gave me this f as part of my birthday present. She gave me a bunch of perfume samples. I can't, there is still stuff in there, but it won't spray out. It's really annoying me. Um, this is one of my favorite scents. It's like, okay, so I've been trying to think every time I've worn this, how to explain it to you guys if you've never smelled it before it is sweet so hence the candy name but it's like creamy and sophisticated at the same time it's not it doesn't smell like candy it doesn't smell like if you opened a bag of candy or something it doesn't smell like that it's not like overwhelmingly 
sweet to me personally. It's just sweet and feminine, but it definitely has creaminess to it, which I think makes it more sophisticated. I would definitely purchase a full size of this because I've tried this out several times and I've loved it every time. Um, I don't think that it lasts like forever on me. Oh, I got some out. Yay. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. So if you can get a sample of this, um, if that poor description of it sounds like something you would like, um, definitely check it out. It's really, really nice. The bottle, the full size bottle of it is gorgeous as well, which makes me want it more. Um, so yeah, I've been absolutely loving that. For nails, pretty much the past week and a half or two weeks, I've been using the Rescue Beauty Lounge nail polish in Scrangy, and I'll um, zoom up on it so you can get the spelling of it. Um, so Scrangy is like a nail polish blog, um, from what I understand. I bought this, hmm, two or three, probably three or four actually years ago. Rescue Beauty Lounge is an amazing nail polish company. It's like cruelty free. It has like none of those bad chemicals in it. It's just a really, really good company. The only problem is that you can only buy it online and it's very expensive. It's between $18 and $20 per bottle. But this color, first of all, is so beautiful. Um, it's a purple base with like a blue, bluish silver duo chrome. I hope that you can see it well. Um, I'm wearing it today. Some of my nails have like wearing on the tips, but seriously, this has lasted so well. This is probably like the fourth day I've had this on and um, I love this. Unfortunately, this particular color is no longer made because it was in one of um, their limited edition collections way back when, like I mentioned. Um, it was in like their blogger thing, their blogger collection, but they have a new one out and there's a Scrangy 2.0, which looks amazing. It's like liquid gold, basically like black gold and I want to get it so, so bad. Um, this is beautiful. I love it. If you have never heard of this company, definitely check it out, especially if you um, are concerned with being cruelty free or you don't like any of those like three free chemicals or whatever. Um, I'm not really sure about the specifics of those things, but this um, company doesn't have any of that stuff in it. So this is wonderful. It is more expensive, but their colors are gorgeous. I have another one um, that I need to use some more. But um, this is definitely super, super beautiful and it lasts really nicely on my nails. So I wanted to mention that, if not for that color, because you can't really get it, but for the company itself. Okay. Oh no, there goes one of my repeats. Okay. For self tanner, this is a, I like it, but I think that I am, <laughs> I think I've messed up my self tanner like so bad. I was thinking that all my self tanners were like not doing well. Like I thought it was them, but I think it's me. Um, let me first talk about this. This is the Norvell um, Professional Sunless Mist. This is just a small size I got from Ulta. I also has, have the larger size. This was on sale for $4. So this is a aerosol can, which totally freaked me out. And I don't spray this directly on myself with the can. I spray it onto my Eco Tools face and body sculpting brush, which is wonderful. Um, I just spray like five to seven sprays directly on here. And then I go to town putting it on my arms and legs and like chest too. Okay, so this is amazing. These two products work together so well because it this product is very thin, obviously, because it's a spray, and this just blends it in so much better than you could probably ever get just from spraying it directly on yourself. But I think that I have been screwing up my um, self-tanners because I would put my lotion on first, and I would wait like a while, but then I would put my self tanner on after my lotions and I think that's making them wear off really patchy, really horrible. It looks like I have a disease on some parts of my body. It is weird. So I'm going to try putting this on first or whatever um, self tanner and then putting lotion on like a while after I apply this. 
let me know if you guys know what order you're supposed to do this stuff because I think that the lotion, like having that on first is not allowing the self tanner to like sink in or whatever. I don't really know the chemical reasons behind all this stuff, but I think that that's the reason why um, this is happening because on some parts of my body it's fine, but then others it wears off so weirdly. Down on my, my thighs, it looks like a hot mess. So I really do like these though. These are really, really a good pair. So if you have any sort of spray, get this brush because it really helps buff it in and it gives a really thin layer so it makes it look really natural. So love. Let me get the thing that just dropped on the floor. Also today I got Duncan. This is, oh my gosh, it's like condensationing all over the place. This is the um, mocha, ice mocha latte. And I got the medium because Starbucks sizes, the medium is like so small. So I was like, I'll just get the medium because it was only like a little bit more expensive than the small. This is giant. I'm gonna like have a serious sugar crash later. But it's really freaking good, okay. So the product that fell on the ground was the Ole Henriksen Invigorating Night Gel. I've been using this as my nighttime moisturizer. It says night in the name. This is something I got in that little set with the Truth Serum, the Sheer Transformation, and then this came in that set I got from Sephora. So it's just a clear gel, looks like gelatin. If this is really nice, especially if you have um, acne prone or oily skin. I think that this would be a really good thing to look into, get a sample of maybe, um, or try an Ole Henriksen kit and um, make sure that this is in it because, okay, so I was applying it to my face and sometimes I would feel that it would like sting a little bit. So I, the ingredients aren't on um, this little pot. So I looked it up on their website and it does have a few acids like lactic acid and glycolic acid, which is really nice for helping exfoliate your skin. And um, it's, a, it's so light, the moisturization of it is really light. So I think that it would be good if you had oily skin, um, but it's not so light that I don't feel like I'm getting moisturized, if that makes sense. It's just a really nice balance. And usually I don't use gel based moisturizers because I feel like they're just they don't really moisturize at all but I think that this moisturizes really well it does sting a little bit like I said when you um, apply it that's just my experience maybe it won't do that for everyone um, but I think that this would be a really nice option to look into if you do have um, acne prone or oily skin or I have normal skin but I like to like keep everything in check by using things with like acids and stuff. Um, I'm surprised that this doesn't say on it that it has that. Um, it says that it's for all skin types and anti-aging. Again, those acids are good for anti-aging exfoliation and stuff. So um, this is really nice. I'm going to keep using it until it's all used up, um, except for the four days after this um, treatment because it does have those acids which it stings already on my skin so I don't want it to really sting but I, I've really been enjoying that. I think that it's a nice option for you guys. Um, this I have not tried but I just wanted to mention it because you guys recommended this to me. It's the Colgate Optic White um, Sparkly Mint Toothpaste. A few of you mentioned this, um, uh, Alexis and um, Pretty Pistol 86 You guys both mentioned this um, being a really good like all plain white toothpaste that is very minty. So I bought this, I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know what I think of it next week. But I did wanna say thank you because I really wouldn't have known what toothpaste to try out before like without you guys telling me and it says whiter teeth in one week who knows we'll see of course there's a freaking lawnmower guy just a second let me close my window this video has all sorts of interruptions this is like it's just my life it's just crazy right now okay my candle favorite for this week i actually completely burned it up this is the sunset beach from bath and body works this smells so nice but as you can see this um, wick burned all the way down to the base but these two like burn themselves out before they got to the base of it so that's kind of annoying but it smells so good the way that I could describe this is sort of like a Victoria's Secret pink scent it's like sweet sort of fruity but it's not like 
so girly. It's kind of like the Prada candy, not in the scent, but just in the way that like in that scent family. So it's like girly, but not like childish. It's feminine, feminine. It's a nice feminine scent. So I love this. I would repurchase it. Um, I don't know if they'll, they still have these frosted glass ones, but these are some of my favorite scents that they've ever come out with, the ones in the frosted glass. And I can't wait to repurpose this for something because I think it's beautiful. Okay, my last favorites are um, non-tangible favorites. So I have two YouTubers that I wanted to mention to you guys so you can check them out. First is Angela Scar. She um, commented on my video one time and said that she was doing uh, Project Use It Up or Project Pan, Project um, Use It Up and Pan That Palette. And so I checked out her channel and she is wonderful. I've been watching her videos ever since she um, mentioned that she did videos and I really, really love her personality. I just was watching her Chanel haul, which is one of her newest videos. She uploads really regularly and I just really like her personality. So if you guys want someone new to watch who is like really um, coming out with new videos all the time, definitely check out Angela. I think that she's a really big sweetheart and yeah I just have really been enjoying your videos Angela so thank you for sharing them with us and um, you guys should definitely definitely check her out the next youtuber is someone that isn't currently making videos but I had discovered her months ago and I watched like all of her videos and I really wanted her to come back and make videos but I kind of like forgot about her because her videos weren't popping up in my newsfeed but then she actually oh I just spit oh god that was gross she actually subscribed to me and it reminded me how much I love her videos and her channel name is L Lit JP and her name is Jessie and I've been re-watching all of her videos. I found her originally because she did Project Pans and Empties videos. I love her personality. Like seriously, I was just binge watching all of her videos. She does a lot of candle videos, but she also does um, some makeup videos. She doesn't show her face, so that's why she doesn't focus a lot on makeup, but she does do, like I said, the Project Pan and Empties. Um, so if you want someone who I think really has a wonderful personality that I think is very addictive and just a really genuine personality. Definitely check out Jessie. Um, like I said, she isn't currently making videos, but hopefully she will make some new ones soon. Um, but I've just really loved watching your videos, Jessie, if you're watching this. So my other favorites of this week were Guardians of the Galaxy. Rachel and I saw it on Tuesday, like I mentioned to you guys, every Tuesday at Carmike Theaters. It's called Stimulus Tuesdays. The tickets are cheaper, the popcorn and drinks are cheaper, all the combo meals are $5 less. So it's a really good day to go. You can go anytime during the day, so from like the morning till the night. Definitely go to the movies then because it's a lot cheaper and you can see the brand new movies out for a lot less. So Guardians of the Galaxy was wonderful. I really love the mixture of sci-fi, adventure, and comedy. I thought that it was awesome. I didn't have too high of hopes just because it looked a little cheesy from the commercials, but it was much more complex than I ever thought that it would be. So if you guys want a like adventure sci-fi with comedy movie to see, definitely check that one out. It's really good. And um, Chris Pratt is the main character. He's Andy from Parks and Recreation. I love him in Parks and Rec and it was really awesome to see him in a lead role. I thought that he did awesome and I really hope to see him in other lead roles as well. So I love that this week. Okay, my last favorite is an app that I have on my phone and it is called Phrase Wheel. So let me just start it up for you guys. Is it coming on the screen? Okay, it's thinking. Okay, so phrase wheel, it's doing the noise, the music. Okay, this is essentially Wheel of Fortune. Um, so here is the name of it up there, phrase wheel. So it's not called Wheel of Fortune, probably because of copyright issues and stuff. But it's basically like Wheel of Fortune, you can play against real people, you can play against the computer, whatever you want. It's just like, you have a turn and you keep going until you get a letter wrong or you hit bankrupt or lose a turn. And it's just really fun. I've been obsessed with it. I also got my mom obsessed with it. So we've been playing against each other a lot this week. And it's just, it's kind of like a 
challenge for your brain to do it. Like, I'm not really good at Sudoku or things like that, but this seems like the same sort of idea where you're trying to challenge your mind to think outside the box and like try to see words like all out of order and stuff. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's a really good game, really addictive. And if you wanna play against me, my username is Megfish8, like it is on most social medias. Um, so definitely download that and play me because I would love to play you guys. I've, I've gotten pretty good, but some people just are amazing. So that has been one of my faves this week. So I feel like I've talked so much today and I feel like I've been interrupted a few times, but that's okay. This is just real life. So, um, I have a really exciting thing to do next when I stop making this video. I am going to take my sister driving. She got her driver's license permit. I cannot believe that she's old enough to drive. I don't know if she's excited or if she's scared or indifferent or whatever but I am so excited and I can't believe it and I've never like taught someone to drive like it's not my total responsibility obviously my parents will help but since I'm home like all the time I'm gonna take her out for her first time we're gonna go to a parking lot and we'll see what kind of things that we can do um to help her practice driving so I'm so excited I seriously cannot believe she's old enough to do that. So that's going to be my exciting adventure for today. I hope that you guys have something else, something exciting planned as well. Let me know what you're going to do this weekend. And I have two exciting videos this weekend. Tomorrow I am starting a new series that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So um, definitely check out my video tomorrow and as always on Sunday I have my Project 10 Pan update. So definitely check out my videos over the next two days. I hope to see you then and um, I hope that you have a wonderful Friday night and I will see you guys soon. Bye!